everybody. I'm Simon and welcome to my micro hydropower shop here in Munich. Today I want to introduce a new product or a new improvement on the LH500 micro hydro turbine. The LH500 uh, is a low head turbine that means uh, it only uses a head of 1.2 uh, to 2.2 meters. Uh, the nominal head is 1.5 meter and the flow is 80 liters in the second. This little turbine can produce with 1.45 meters and 80 liters in a second 500 watts electrically. On the turbine design on top normally is the generator coupled with a rotex coupling to the main shaft, to the core. Uh, and on the lower side, here's the intake, the water flows here in. Uh, there's a propeller, it's a propeller turbine. Um, it's not adjustable, it's all, all time the same flow. And after the propeller, uh, the water passes a draft tube to the tail rays. The new improvement on this turbine, uh, if you're looking on the low head turbines on the world market, you see uh, there are many or some manufacturers uh, sitting in Vietnam or sitting uh, in China. Uh, these turbines normally have uh, uh, the main bearings of the turbine shaft on the top, on, in the dry, um, and the shaft goes down to the propeller and here on the bottom of the shaft is a, a water greased um, um, bearing uh, and below that is the propeller. The problem on this is uh, that the, uh, if you have uh, some unbalances on the propeller uh, you have a high friction on the water grease bearing and so you have to change the bearing very often depending on the water. Now on the new design of this turbine we fixed the problem with the wear, with the hard wear on the water grease bearing here on the bottom uh, by running the shaft dry. That means the main bearing of the shaft, there are five bearings complete, uh, three on the bottom and two on the top. Um, so the shaft is running dry and on the bottom is a seal and after the seal an axial bearing and two radial bearings and on top uh, two roller roller bearing um, so the complete shaft is running dry and the forces from the propeller the drag forces um, will be fixed here on the bottom so this com this design is uh, complete different uh, to the old designs of these low head turbines and now I will show you uh, how we done this just a second now you can see I have removed the turbine intake, which is here. This is the intake. Um, the intake is, in principle, uh, puts the water through these veins uh, to the turbine runner and um, on the bottom here is uh, the draft tube where the water goes to the tail race. So you can see uh, the turbine core in principle. The turbine core is uh, depends on the spinner, on the propeller runner, on the main bearing section here, uh, on uh, the turbine shaft housing, the upper bearing, and here on the end uh, is um, the shaft uh, where you can put uh, a coupling to the generator or whatever you want. Now this is dry running uh, means. Um, there is no, uh, there's a very low friction on this turbine core and you can see I can turn it by hand very easy. Um, if on the normal setup when you have here uh, a water grease bearing, uh, you cannot turn this here. It's very hard to turn because of the friction here in the water grease bearing. So this is the first improvement. It's very soft to turn. I will uh, dismantle the complete unit step by step you can see what's in there and how it's made. So you can see I have removed the spinner, the bottom end of the propeller that leads the water to the draft tube. The propeller 
a Kaplan runner, if you, you can say, but it's a fixed veins. Um, I have removed this, and now you see uh, the, the lower end of the of the turbine, of the turbine core. Uh, here's the shaft, and here's uh, the seal. Um, it's a carbon seal, um, so this seal is very tight, but runs very smooth. Um, so this is a good solution, um, as you can see this also on uh, the bigger um, turbines uh, in the megawatt range also have th this kind of, um, of, of kind of sealing as we now used here. Now I have removed uh, the upper turbine housing and this is the core. In principle the complete core is still functional um, if you have on the old types uh, the uh, water grease bearing you cannot turn this and here you can see uh, uh, this is the seal it's a carbon seal and uh, this is uh, the rotating part and this is the steady part and here above this seal uh, is the actual bearing and there are two roller bearings the shaft is running dry here is a sealant between the two flanges and on the other side is uh, just a roller bearing to hold this steady. So this is another close view of uh, the turbine core. Uh, this is the core tunnel, here's the lower side, uh, there's the upper side. And uh, in this tunnel is the shaft, the shaft is running here. Uh, there is uh, a center alignment to the lower section where So from a very rainy Sunday afternoon here in Munich, Germany, thanks for watching.